Shalom, shalom, on Yashara. Israel, the so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics. I'm going to tell you about this Kanika Jenkins case, and it is absolutely fake. Flat out. I don't need to get too detailed about it, because you already read the details and you've seen it. The photo is showing a very petite figure of a 18-year-old teen adult. The video shows an absolutely heavy set it's not a really a heavy set she is thick a voluptuous woman i don't know who this woman is but she is obviously fertile she's obviously fertile flat out she got curves down through her body kanika jenkins jenkins excuse me is like a kind of a straight line she's kind of built like a number two pencil I'm not saying she has no curves, she has very tiny ones, but not as big as that woman on the video. I don't know who the hell that bitch is, but that is not the little girl that was murdered. And we already know why Kenika Jenkins was murdered. Because they've been harvesting black parts for the past, you know, an entire freaking three four millenniums ago this has been going on this is old news it's not new the only reason why it seems like it's new because our people are now beginning to give a fuck it's old okay this had been going on and the fact that you're talking about it now it's just <laughs> i don't know i mean i don't know what was it, what was it going to take in order for you to finally take a stand and actually talk about it as you're supposed to and now that it's happening on a on a grand scale you're finally getting this idea like I mean I guess it's time for us to rouse this up as a topic excuse me you should have been talking about this my nigga <laughs> what's taking you so long despite all these mainstream media outlets and and whatnot and you somehow just I don't know. You just suddenly don't know. Now, mainstream media outlets, by by chance, I'm, I don't mean MSNBC, CNN, and, and ABC, and all these different other outlets like that. Or that particular man. I mean, like you can also just become your own news. You can become your own journalist. You can become your own uh, meteorologist. So you can tell the weather on your own. You got that power. You're an Israelite so-called black man native hispanic man and so sometimes the women can too but you know the women with the women are being led astray to selling their people out like kanika jenkins excuse me kanika jenkins jenkins mother i can never say jenkins right i can i don't know why um but the the mother uh, i forgot her name what was it teresa Teresa Martins, Martin, or something like that, I don't know, but I read her Facebook page, and it said Teresa Hot Chick Martin, that's a red flag number one, you are a mother, to call yourself any form of hot chick, sexy, or anything like that of the kind, and you're on Facebook, what makes it worse is that I'm looking at your Facebook page, you have multiple different photos of yourself looking like a absolute thot, whore, slut, sellout, coon, sambo, negro. This is a so-called black woman with a blonde buzz cut and bozo the clown makeup paint on her face. Drawn on eyebrows whose eyebrows, I don't know, I just don't know where they are, where what you did with them whose face that you put them on as a substitute for a marker or from some form of eyebrow pencil. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, why you did this, but you did it. It doesn't matter as to why. All what matters is that you did it and you need to stop doing it. Let your eyebrows grow and stop drawing eyebrows on your damn face with a damn anime, <laughs> an anime drawing utensil, pencil, whatever. I don't know what the hell's wrong with these so-called black native or Hispanic women these days, but they look like an absolute, they look ridiculous. 
This is why other nations of people can make fun of our people. And it's a laughing stock when they do. Because you can't necessarily defend our people whenever they do get attacked by them verbally. Even at times physically. I could just do nothing more than just watch the harm of our people be done. And what am I to say about it or to do about it? It's judgment from the Heavenly Father that he's sending these demons these ways to punish you. And at certain times, these demons also feel the need to where they want to abuse their authority too. Because the Heavenly Father could give them only one issue. And if they end up going, overstepping their boundaries like Edomites, so-called white people who are the, the devil the Bible speaks of and the cave monkeys who we're not supposed to even touch or even hold hands with handshake or even fist bump or I don't give a damn what the physical the physical greeting may be it's not supposed to happen period they're not supposed to touch us if they even hang around us they understand that they are going to be hit with curses and they proceed to do this hard headed as they are but I'm going to go back to the topic of Kanika Jenkins' mother Kanika Jenkins' mother, who, whose name I've forgotten again, her mother only cared about also the money. The, the daughter is of no importance to her, and I'm going to tell you this straight up. The daughter is clearly of no importance to her, never were and never had been. If she was important, maybe, just maybe, you would have heard her say something along the lines of could you please raise money just so no it's not raise money but ultimately i want to know what happened to my daughter let me see as to who did this and also i want to have a conversation with the individuals that had an involvement into this incident she didn't care about that the only thing she really cared about was the money and the only thing that ever come, that goes into the so-called black woman's mind is money for the most part um, her own benefits second and everyone else last that's the sick and disgusting truth of the so-called black women of today don't believe me look at the, ma the majority of of our people who were killed in crisis incidents you know, such as Sandra Bland and Trayvon Martin. John Crawford and Tamir Rice. And yeah. Ultimately, this is a get rich quick scheme where you you can sell out your daughter and prior you doing that you have to often sign an oath where you are to be initiated within a cult cult meaning a Freemason Illuminati cult uh, put your tin tin hat or your, your tin foil hat away sir you're into that conspiracy theory thing you know Quite frankly, people that's not really thinking like this, they got nothing going for themselves. I'm just going to be flat out honest. Whenever you're not critical think uh, thinking, you're just an idiot. That's passively accepting everything. You're not even passive aggressive. You're just passively accepting everything. You're a pessimist. No, it just happened. I'm just going to simply accept it. Oh, no, no. You just simply got to think it over as to why it happened. Get down to the problem of it and solve that problem. Why are you following it? But that's the problem with these men these days. They have been effeminized to the point where they don't even want to do anything about it. They gave women the power, the women the power, and the women don't even know how to rule in the first place. Case in point, the mother of Kanika Jenkins. You raised the daughter to be a slut just like you are. 
This is how she was dressed up, like a literal slut. I'm just simply telling the truth. You know, either, either way, I'm going to get attacked by it or not. I don't really give a fuck. This is exactly what's going on. And then you put blessed, like, I seen the picture that was being posted, uh, like you made it seem like she was in a better place or in heaven or whatever the case is. And you have a picture of her in her, in her booty shorts showing her damn vagina out to the public. And the original photo you got it from is whenever she was at the side of an abandoned wall or something. Or, and this was being acceptable by her mother. Now, last I checked, whenever, if my mother ever let her, if, if, her, if my mother ever saw her daughter, which is my sister, obviously, do something like that, at that woman's age, she would come home to an extension cord broken off of a vacuum cleaner. And that extension cord, either it's a, a, a vacuum cleaner's cord or a switch picked off of a, like a branch picked off from a tree or a leather belt with like metal studs on it. She would beat the snot out of my sister. That's what our children need these days. And we're not getting enough of. Instead, our people are worrying about giving their children iPhone pluses and and iPads and Apple MacBooks and whatnot. It's ridiculous, man. Game consoles. Instead of teaching them morality. Getting to this Bible, live the Bible, not instead of just simply just being a reader of it. Re being a reader of the Bible doesn't make you saved. But because they read it and they don't even live it, that makes them actually satanic. When you're living against that scripture, or these scriptures, excuse me, you're actually very close to satanic than any other satanist around the planet. You think that you're better than them and quite frankly you're not and you're not going to call on God as soon as you feel like you're comfortable with wanting to get to know him whenever you're in trouble no actually he's going to let you die just like he let so many of your people die yeah you know these hurricanes these earthquakes these tornadoes thunderstorms or floods followed up monsoons typhoons these tempests tempests are much extreme bigger versions of the tornado so if anyone get hit with a tempest your ass is guaranteed dead no one's saving you from that it's over with night night <laughs> like I mean the Heavenly Father He's trying, he's trying so hard not to flood the earth again and break his promise. If he wanted to, I mean, I wouldn't blame him for it. Like, I would do that yesterday. <laughs> Wait a minute, you wanted to do what now? You, are, you taught your daughter to do what? Wait a minute, what did you tell your son that he could wear? Is that a dress on your son? Oh, hell no, I'm breaking that promise now. I'm flooding the earth right now. Yeah, that would be me. In a millisecond or a split second. <sighs> then she makes a post telling in telling the earth that she is in a relationship. Yeah. She's in a relationship she wanted to broadcast this. And you know how disgusting and trifling ghetto hoes do or are whenever they get on live on YouTube or on Facebook Live. And for the most part, she doesn't care about she doesn't care about the the topic at hand or the subject at hand. She cares ultimately about how much attention she's going to get. 
until she gets the attention from the wrong individual. And that person often has to put them in check, put her in check, or, you know, if she doesn't get enough attention, she'll claim everyone else to not care and that everyone is heartless. Yeah. And then the attention she gets, she winds up taking her advantage of it and come to find out that the attention she ultimately wants is for the attention from the people so she can usurp authority and money from them. And she has been. Yeah. This is plain... This is plain, dry proof that the woman has had a, a, a massive influence in the earth. She's... She's a master manipulator. And this is... case in point she manipulated you simps into believing that she needs donations and of course white guilt you know you got Edomites who decided they wanted to donate massive amount of money to her I don't really feel sorry for it but I already knew what was to be to be expected from this like I knew exactly what she was doing before she did it I can read people's spirits excuse me they I'm not an oracle for nothing I can detect exactly the type of spirit individual or excuse me an individual appears to have if you're a greedy individual I can already sense that from the actions you show or before you even tell me hell by the attire and mannerisms you show me I don't really get need to uh, to be to know anything further I can just see that already okay this person's materialistic and superficial let's move on and go on to the next person to have a conversation with because I lost interest already flat out ever since being into this Bible more deeper deeply than I am I've been able to tell a lot of people's spirits and I'm highly disappointed in my own people my own people used to be so used to be so spiritual to the point where they were damn near my level or higher and quite frankly they were higher than me once upon a time they could tell your spirit without even looking at you yeah you need to repent because I can already tell that you are someone you have been obviously doing something that you wasn't supposed to do and you be looking at this dude like wait a minute how do you know that I didn't even say a, a damn a damn two three words to you no you don't you have no idea what domain you walked yourself into my people used to be so great with this we lost that ability it's not permanently gone it's just we lost it our people wanted to be carnal they wanted to be idolatry Excuse me, idolatrous. <clears throat> As of late. Not to mention that a whore mother who teaches her daughter to be a whore is already a sin enough as it is mentioned in the Bible. Here's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17. There shall be no whore in the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel now aside of the fact that whores of Israel isn't even allowed in the first place and that is uh, immediately punishable by death homosexuality is another thing that the so-called black native Hispanic community needs to stay away from what the hell do I see Israelites in the middle of a gay pride parade for what the hell does this have to do with the upliftment and upbringing of your so-called black native or Hispanic society I don't know why are you in the middle of these parades and whatnot? Somebody will ask me something like, you know, what does it concern you? They're living their life. Excuse me, it concerns me 100% because these are my brothers and sisters up here being deceived by a, a nation of people that they want to be like. And 
I don't know why they want to be like this nation of people. I don't understand because this people hate you and they even hate themselves. That's why they don't want to be themselves. They want to be you, nigga. YouTube, I don't think you heard me. So-called blacks, natives, or Hispanics, I don't think you heard me. They don't want to be you. Excuse me, they don't want to be themselves. They want to be you. <clears throat> yeah, they don't want to be themselves. They want to be you. So aside from wanting to be you, they also wanted your organs. What do you think would happen to Kanika? She's an organ donor. And if not, then she's going to be, because then that was the perfect cell or, or um, um, upsell that the mother has produced. I can already guarantee that that black woman is a Freemason applicant with the Freemason sticker on the back of her car and all. Yeah, Freemason or Masonic people are very demonic figures. Black, Native, or Hispanic, Edomite, Moabite, Chinese, or Ammonite, Japanese, it doesn't even matter what race, or excuse me, what nationality they're from. They're demonic. Our people can be demonic too. You, you heard me mention the previous individuals who were sold out and proven to have sold out their people YouTube has these videos all around and the only thing you need to do is just simply look at them now whether or not you believe them that's on you but I mean if you want to pass up that knowledge and just say you know what I'm just going to do my own thing and I'm just going to ignore it and I'm going to get high and get drunk and whatever the case is and it's no wonder why people are stronger than you because you are weak it takes you that little to make you want to no longer obtain knowledge stockpile it even if you don't have knowledge you don't have nothing no power you're powerless Excuse me, I thought I saw a spider. <laughs> if you seen a spider and it it fell it went out of your sight, burn the house down. Oh. I'm just growing a little too tired of our people. I'm really tired of these so-called black native Hispanic people of mine. So is the Heavenly Father. That's the reason why he's killing you. So is the Heavenly Father. He's killing you for a reason. He's told you to do so many things with such simplicity. And it's very easy to do for our people to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. There's only 613 laws. Aside from the, what, 10,000 laws that the so-called white man that you're supposed to keep? You mean to tell me that it's... <clears throat> you mean to tell me that the Heavenly Father is 613 easy, measly laws is just so difficult for you to keep that you just simply don't even know how to function? Nah, actually our people are hardcore Satanists at heart. Anyway, that's my time to show them.